Hi, Johnny. Le Leslie Manville, hello. I'm How are you today? I'm glad you've made the bed. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the very that. least. It's the very least I could do. The amount of these uh, interviews I've done over the last like two years when I've invited people into my bedroom, I never thought, I never thought I'd see this much action. Uh, <laughs> you know me. Uh, Leslie, congratulations. Um, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. It's one of those films that feels like it's really gathering momentum in a way. The more people that see it, the more positive reviews and responses it gets around the world. But whilst actors don't make things for, you know, for, for rewards and reviews, is there, is there perhaps more of a satisfaction when you find an audience this way? Yeah, I think the brilliant thing that this film is doing, which you quite rightly said, very accurately said, it's gathering momentum. You can only gather momentum by word of mouth. And I think that's what's happening with this film. I mean, it's only opened thus far, as of today, it's only opened in the States. And it is done phenomenally well there, beyond expectations. Um, so, and it's because people are seeing it and then they, you know, people talk. And so that that is, that is, that is what's happening. And um, so hopefully, you know, it opens here in the UK uh, next month and it opens across the rest of Europe and all other territories and Australia. So I, you know, I think, I think I want to use the word global phenomenon. <laughs> I think we should start saying that Ada is a global phenomenon. Start planting those seeds now. I'm sure people, I'm sure like it'll, it'll catch on. I was, uh, I was really interested to find out that the author of the books, uh, what's his name, Paul Gallic, also wrote Gallic Side and Adventure. Yes. And, and what, what interested me is when he wrote that, that was turned into this big blockbuster movie in just a short few years. The Mrs. Harris book started in what, 1958. And despite a, a TV movie in the early nineties with Angela Lansbury, which I imagine is great. Uh, it's not had a big kind of a big screen outing. Why do you think it's taken this long for, for it to hit big screen? Um, well, there could be multiple reasons, but <clears throat> I think one reason could be that having a film fronted by a woman of my age that's about a woman of my age um, has, it, it hasn't been that um, familiar a thing in the last 30 years or even um, however long 60 years since the 50s you know it, it just it, it wasn't kind of the thing one thing I also noticed uh, with how enduring the stories are is the kind of sequels it spawns, she goes off to various different places. I know this is gathering momentum, become very popular in the States. Hopefully it's going to find a big audience over here and around Europe. If you were to revisit Mrs. Harris, uh, I believe she went to Moscow. I believe she went to Parliament. I believe she went to New York. That's in right. Books. Where, what would be on your list? Where would you like to take her next? Well, I've got absolutely no idea whether whether it will or whether which way she'd go but she's a born politician isn't she i mean what a refreshing politician ada would be and she certainly couldn't do worse you know, than a lot of the ones we've got yeah, at the moment I, I know but let's even i mean none of that terror when you listen to radio 4 which i do every day when they ask a politician a question and I can, I'm thinking they're never going to answer that. They are never going to answer it. They're going to skirt around it. See, Ada would never do that. She'd answer it and she'd tell it as it is. Speaking we about not skirting around things, I'd be remiss not to quickly mention the next big project for you is joining the juggernaut that is The Crown. I know you probably can't tell us anything about how that is at the moment, what we can expect, but how are you feeling about jumping on board something that's such a kind of... Well, I've been phenomenon. on the wagon already, because we... I know that's the wrong phrase, isn't it? That's kind <laughs> of thinking. Anyway, I've been on that particular, the crown wagon. Uh, we've already done season five. So that's done in the bag, and I'm about to start season six. And you're quite right. I can tell you nothing. <laughs>